Hello, I'm Keith Rogers, a farmer in Hardin County, and I'm glad to be a part of Kentucky's dynamic agriculture industry, an industry that can be the growth machine for this state. You know, you may live here, drive the highways, notice the farms and fields, yet never fully understand the economic impact of agriculture on Kentucky. Agricultural related businesses employ one out of every four workers in this state. The industry is currently striving to raise agriculture receipts to $5 billion annually by the year 2000. Kentucky agriculture is wide ranging and diverse. Let's talk about some ways that this growth in agriculture can be achieved. There are many, but let's focus on some major areas that will provide opportunities for men, women, and families in agriculture. Timber is one area, a natural renewable resource that can provide jobs and income. I think the wood industry in Kentucky has tremendous potential when you realize that over half of the state is forested, roughly 12 million acres, and with 90% of that uh, forest land in private ownership, it places a great responsibility on the small private woodland owner. Not only a great responsibility, but a great opportunity. While we're growing over twice as much as is being harvested, it should be pointed out that the quality of this timber is rather poor and there's tremendous opportunity for increasing the quality of the timber. Likewise, the growth potential is only half of what it could be and if the growth were increased and the quality improved, it would result in tremendous uh, increased dollar returns not only for the woodland owner but also for the forest industry in the state. I think we need to add value to our product. With each step, we add that value. By going from the woods to the sawmill, we increase our value of the logs by 50%. By creating lumber, we increase another value by 50%. If we kill dry this summer, we add 25% to the value. And if we go on to a dimension mill, we create jobs and plant investment. The number of jobs could be four to one over what we produce in a sawmill. We also have to remember that trees are our only renewable natural resource and that uh, they replenish oxygen back into the atmosphere. An important cash crop to Kentucky is tobacco. Families and communities across this state depend on tobacco income. Harrison County provides an example of tobacco's economic impact. Tobacco farming is a way of life and it's also our livelihood. Uh, tobacco money was used to raise me, to educate me. My father used it to pay for his farm. I hope someday to use tobacco money to pay, my, pay for my farm. Uh, we sort of get by for 11 months out of the year. At the end of the year, we sell our crop, we make our major purchases, we pay off the debts, and we get ready to start another year. The bad years we had in tobacco in the 80s, the uh, 83, 84 era, uh, we had a lot of local businesses that just went out of business as a result of uh, crop failures. Not only did it affect them that one year, but they had subsequent years of three and four years of, of ever recouping, regaining what they lost. Had an impact on every business, large, small, very much of a heavy impact on the banking industry. Our delinquency rates skyrocketed in those years. As a result, the farmers unable to pay their operating dollars. The most important product we have is agricultural for Harrison and the surrounding counties. The industry is very important. Don't, I don't want to mislead anyone. But our primary product is still tobacco. The introduction of agriculture-related industries can fuel optimism and economic growth. After Seaboard Farms of Kentucky, located in Graves County, 
many area farmers diversified into poultry production to increase farm income. Well, it's fit in our operation real well with uncertainty of the row cropping, tobacco industry. We said we'd go into this poultry business. We've been in it for about four years and, and everything is panned out the way we thought it would. And of course, Seaboard continues to add to their operation and that makes you feel good and makes you feel like you have a good stable income there in years to come. But it's not just local farmers who benefit from agriculture related industries. Businesses throughout the area are helped as well. The improvements probably are broad based um, all the way across the board in our, in our store. We're, we're a farm, uh, agriculture, hardware, and uh, everything from electrical, power tools, uh, clothing. Seaboard has added jingle into the farmer's pocket. It's uh, stabilized his income. Um, it has, it, it, you can't pinpoint where it is, um, but it's just been a, a, a nice increase um, in, our, in our receipts. Livestock production, both beef and dairy cattle, is well suited to Kentucky. The cattle business is an important facet of Kentucky agriculture, and there is room to expand. We have 65% of the cows in Kentucky east of I-65. However, there are cows and beef businesses and dairy businesses in all parts of Kentucky, every county, and they are a serious agricultural economic impact. The producers in Kentucky have the opportunity these days because of the large number of cows that we have, or beef animals, or dairy animals, uh, have the opportunity to expand their operations by adding value and doing a great number of things that the consumer will demand in the future. We have those uh, innumerable opportunities to improve what we do. It's not that we don't do things right now. It is obvious, however, that we must compete with other meats and do things better for the future. Kentucky's livestock industry also includes hog production. Producing the quality to fit consumer demand is a priority. I definitely think the hog industry in Kentucky can expand if we'll just accept some of these challenges that's out here that we're, that we're not used to and accept some of these things and, and uh, meet the challenge. I don't think there's very few of us that's big enough or can get big enough to, uh, to do all these things and do them as efficient as uh, maybe we could if we would co-op and work together a little bit. Field Packing Company in Owensboro is once again buying Kentucky hogs and processing them on site, benefiting farmers and the local economy. Well, I think what, uh, what has happened since we've gone back to work, of course, I know we had to hire extra people. Uh, I'm not exactly sure, but I think we put on 25 to 30 people that were, did not have jobs, I know. Uh, also, in the market level of the hog market, I think we've helped that since we've opened our doors. and. Uh, which in turn puts money in the farmer's pocket in being uh, a more competitive market maybe. Uh, we've always tried to stay competitive and hopefully always will. As new markets for grain are developed and value is added through processing and through the feeding of livestock, grain production becomes another area of potential for Kentucky farmers. As corn, wheat, barley, soybean farmer, I think the next five years are gonna offer some of the most interesting times that, that we've ever had on our farm. The, the agricultural industry is, is at the point where we can offer specific products for specific end uses, either for food, fiber, or, or industrial needs. So it's, we've got the opportunity to, to identify markets and, and supply those markets that we've never had before. For example, Seamer Milling Company's decision to locate in the Hopkinsville Christian County area will yield jobs and a market for farmers wheat. I'm very excited about our prospects simply because as a farmer who is active in farming, as a CPA who is doing a lot of work for farmers, and as an economic development person who has worked for eight years trying to get new processing plants to, to Hopkinsville Christian County, that we've had some recent success. Uh, Seamer Milling has located in Hopkinsville Christian County. They'll be employing between 25 and 30 people, which is important to us, but more important, they'll be buying our raw product approximately four million bushels of wheat, which will be produced locally. 
obviously the farmers will be able to produce that wheat and deliver it at a, at a reasonable cost. Therefore, they'll have a better net return on their product. They'll be able to hire uh, better quality people, pay better salaries, buy new equipment, uh, pay for accounting services and insurance, and pay for the raw products that are used in producing the, the wheat. So it, there is a double benefit from an agribusiness as opposed to a manufacturing plant. Manufacturing plants do not buy the raw product from our community, but the agribusiness does, and the magnifying effect of agribusiness is much greater than a manufacturing plant would be. As you can see, Kentucky agriculture is positioned to enter the 21st century as a leader in economic growth for the Commonwealth. Farmers will benefit, communities will benefit, and Kentucky will benefit.